So the capacitor video, these capacitors instead of batteries, why and how? Why? Well, these, this is a lead acid battery. It uh, weighs uh, roughly more than three kilos, um, three kilos and 354 grams. Um, this is my lithium phosphate battery, which I had in Honda and I, it actually fits from Honda directly to Yamaha and it weights 855 grams. So substantial weight saving. Now, these have a lot of advantages. They do have some disadvantages as everything. Uh, one of the disadvantages is that these have something which is called BMS, um, which is, um, battery management system and that is responsible to charge the cells these are four cell batteries um, equally so uh, the problem the danger for these is overcharging or discharging them under the certain voltage similar to the lead acid but these are more sensitive to it um, before in the old days these batteries had really bad bms's or they didn't have them at all which led to the to the situation called bricking uh, so the, the cells would eventually die um, and the battery would actually not give anything. Now, for that reason, you would have this. Um, nowadays, these are quite good and uh, you can damage them. Uh, you cannot even damage them overcharging because this battery, for example, has um, protection. So everything over 15 volts is basically stops charging. It doesn't stop you to discharging it under the safe voltage though. Um, so that's one, one way how you can brick it, uh, not brick it, you can, you can discharge it a lot and damage it. Uh, another thing is if you short the terminals, if you, if you physically crack it or something like that, I mean, it would be pretty disastrous impact. But yeah, so for these situations where you would not have any juice or some have fuses as well inside so if the fuse goes off the capacitor should save um, the day because this is actually the tiny battery the battery is just a huge capacitor and um, the theory is you plug it instead of the battery not together with the battery but instead of the battery and then you push start the bike and the alternator creates the power. The power goes into the capacitor, the capacitor keeps it for enough time so that electric system can start up. And then you just roll and roll and the bike can be push started. Um, this is only relevant for in injected bikes, uh, the bikes with a lot of electronics and all that. So I took these and tested it. That's the second uh, section of the video. There is uh, a good tutorial how to make um, this. Um, I used really cheap uh, 10,000 microfarad um, capacitors. You don't need anything else and a plastic floor uh, from a DIY shop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to push start it with the battery. Then I uh, replace the battery with the capacitor and then um, see if it works. Oh. No. Okay. Let's get some speed. Come on, come on. Okay. Third gear possible with the battery. So now. I disconnected the battery and I put the capacitor uh, instead of the battery. So uh, the positive goes to positive, the negative goes to negative, of course. And in theory, with this rolling down the hill, I should be able to do the third gear and happy days. Uh, let's see. Uh, capacitor is in, no power. Let's see. In theory, the thing should start up. 